All right, Coach, uh, opening day of practice uh, through the fall all the way through now. How's the team uh, looking like right now? Let me get out of this. Well, you know, we today's the first live. We got to run uh, our group A pitchers up to 35 pitches, which was really fun to watch Kevin Stevens and Jesus Aldaz because, you know, Aldaz was out last year with that arm injury. Both those guys were 92 to 95 and – uh, with real good sliders, so that was good to see. And we got a new guy for Dugo from California that was, you know, 88, 89 with a good slider. So that was, you know, good. We have four groups of seven pitchers, and that was only one group. So it's only one day. Tomorrow we'll go group B. Sunday we'll go group C. And then, of course, Tuesday group D. So – but it's good to see guys start getting the timing and, and pitchers starting to get pitch count going up. We can get those guys ready to throw 70 pitches in the first weekend. And one of the things that you've always constantly preached is defense first. Uh, I know it's just the first day and in, in throughout fall. What, what do you like so far defensively? I think we have a, a shot to be an outstanding defensive team. we got a lot of catchers, you know, with Sanchez getting developed and Ochoa back. We've got Sturgis, an all-conference player from UTSA, two years in a row that played first and he really wanted to catch. So I feel really strong about us behind the plate. Ortega is another good kid. And we have a freshman from California, Lancia. That's he's kind of jumping in there and starting to compete with those juniors and seniors. And on the infield, you know, Ramirez, we know how good a defender he is. He's going to be our shortstop. We have Shelton, who was not a third baseman that's moved to second and a kid from Arizona Kelch. And then we've got Pimentel from Mississippi State and Angel at first. And then, of course, Mondesi at third from, from New York, and uh, he's an out. He might be the best defender we've had uh, so far, so I'm really excited. I think the outfield is going to be a little a little bit different, probably not as speedy, uh, but they're going to have a lot, a lot of power. It's going to come out of that outfield with Freddie Rojas in right and Brett Kane in center maybe and Spencer Servin and – there could be a lot of different options and left fighting for it. But I'm excited about the defensive team. I, I think we've got to work real hard in the outfield, getting good reads and taking good angles because we're not going to run that well. But they're going to be really good hitters. You know, so we'll figure out. Hershey's situation still up in there. We're still try, trying to figure out that if he's going to be able to play or not. And, you, you know, you, you, you lost – you, you lose a lot of experience, but you're also gaining uh, some of the experience back. Well, what's been the key uh, so far just early on uh, between the late fall and early spring thus far? I think it's a really, really offensive lineup. That's one thing I've noticed. We've, you know, they've really, we had a lot of arms shut down in the fall, like Kevin Stevens, uh, Cabral ended up getting shut down a new guy. But we got a lot of guys that have had a lot of college at-bats, a lot of college at-bats. So I think the strength could be an offense that's really tough, one through nine, a really hard, a lot of quality at-bats, really hard outs. That's what we're dreaming for. That's what you always hope for because it's really hard for a pitcher to get through the lineup a bunch. Uh, and I think the pitching, you know, you look at our pitching, it's all back. You know, Balderrama and Davis both threw hurt the last half of the year. Uh, they're both really, really healthy right now, you know, and hopefully they're ready to sustain that throughout a season. J.C. Ariza is in the best shape of his life. Man, he is really trimmed up and got really fit. So he's excited. You know, you got your Bridges, you got your Ricky Jarek, some some experienced guys out of the pen, Kisner. And then you add some new guys. Justin Butts was, wasn't here last, uh, last year. He had to sit out of a transfer year, a left-hander that's got a real good breaking ball. So you do return your staff, and all you do really in the staff, all we lost was Kevin Pollan, and he was a great bullpen piece. But we've got a little bit more depth on the mound, I think, than we've ever had. And two more questions from me. I, I, I guess from a recruiting standpoint, you, you found a lot of pieces that you were able to fill in with your need. What's going to be the key for them just early on now that you've gotten them in, you've got to see them uh, perform a, a little bit for you in the fall and right now in the spring? Well, Pimentel from Mississippi State is a real big piece because he can play first or left. And he's got a ton of college at-bats against big-time arms. And 
and that, you know, if Angel can do his job, then we can move Pimentel to the left. And then I think Angel had a good year last year. He hit 260. He's a 300 hitter with 10 home runs, I hope. Uh, but I think the old guys in Sturgis being a first baseman catcher, outfielder, a guy that's been all conference player, offensive guy that can really hit, hit for power. He was a junior college All American, hit 22 home runs, and then two time All Conference player in Conference USA. That's not a bad guy to be jumping in here as a 24 year old. So we got some old hitters to replace the Atwood, Sepulveda's, Grubbs, Alexanders. Those guys were great players. It's not easy to replace those kind of guys. But we'll see how it goes early. It'll be different for sure. But there sure are there sure are big physical kids with a lot of experience. They played at a high level. And you've seen a lot of improvements there at the ballpark. And it looks completely different from when I first saw it over 20 years ago. Uh, what do you what do you make of all these nice changes and amenities that you've been able to have there? Well, just a great administration, you know, Chase Conk and Vince have been really good to me and helping us better that place. We got five more decks coming in. We got the foul poles painted finally and the gray poles painted and grass still don't look great. Uh, all that, I know all the suites are redone and administration just, they've had my back since the first minute I walked on campus and I really appreciate those guys. And, and it's, it's a beautiful ballpark and, we just got to turn the corner, man. This is a big year for us. We got some old guys. We need to go in there and pitch like we're capable of pitching. And pitching wins championships. I mean, it is what it is. The guys that have the best arms are the teams that get to regionals and get to super regionals and get to Omaha. All right, many thanks, Coach. And we'll All see right, you. Thanks. We'll see you in February. No doubt. Thanks, man. Yep. Well, thanks, guys. Johnny, you don't need me, do you? Nah, you're good. Why don't you All take right. the rest of the day off with Pat? <laughs> we got to work. We work now on weekends. It ain't, there ain't no days off. <laughs> right, well, so you guys have, have a good July. weekend. You too, have coach. You bet, man. We'll see you guys. Thank yeah. you, guys.